Hallelujah to Jesus. Today is the day that the Lord has made and you will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray for you and I pray for your entire household. I pray for your life this very day. I pray that whoever is sharing tears, I pray for you this very day. That may the Lord answer you and may the Lord wipe away your tears. Those that are in pain, I decree and declare by the mandate of the blood of Jesus that today may the Lord heal you. Whatever the devil has placed upon your life, whatever the doctors have declared upon you and pronounced upon your life that have caused you to weary and that have caused you to doubt your God. Today I pray that may the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob arise and defend and maintain your cause. May the Lord know that by his stripes you are healed. And may he you know this very day that he overcame the devil by the blood of the lamp and by the word of his testimony. Today may the blood of Jesus cause you to overcome. May you overcome in every aspect of your life. May you overcome every disease. May you overcome every shame. May you overcome every failure. May you overcome every disfavor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you overcome the struggles of life, things that have risen up against you where it has compassed around you and you have no hope and you have no strength in any man. Today I pray that may the Lord rise upon the regions of life and may God show you favor this very day. May the Lord rise up for your favor and rise up for your advancement and bring shame upon your enemies and may the Lord exonerate you by his mercy and by the power of the blood of Jesus. I pray for you and your household according to the word of God today. The Almighty God will grant you all your petitions speedily. He will turn your test into testimonies. He will grant you speed on every other side. Because he will plant your feet. Your feet shall be elevated. Your feet shall be established. Your feet shall be grounded this very day in the name of Jesus. He will fill your life with goodness. And he will put a new song in your mouth and he will settle you greatly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today I pray for the rest of this day that the hand of the Lord shall go ahead of you. The rest of this week and the rest of this month, may the Spirit of God preserve you and go ahead of you and beyond. May the blood of Jesus speak for you. Evil calamity shall not come near your dwelling. Sicknesses or infirmity will never come near your, your presence. But his presence shall go ahead of you. Your light shall not dim. Men shall favor you and your joy shall not be turned sour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will walk in the comfort of grace and you will walk in the comfort of favor. This very day, may the hand of the Lord be strong upon you. Today, let the peace of the Lord be with you and your household. Power shall flow from the throne of grace and God will heal every part of your body. Shame is not your portion. Reproach is, will never come near your, your dwelling. Reproach is never your allocation. Ridicule is not your lot. You shall not occupy the space of disgrace. Your entitlement is not humiliation. You shall not be embarrassed. Where there is a casting down for you, there shall be a lifting up. The angels of death will not come or overcome you. They will not pass over you. May the real hand of the Lord preserve you and preserve your household. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, may the Almighty God preserve your day. And today, may your day be filled with glad tidings. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This is Apostle Dr. Jerry Oteen from Global Harvest Ministries. Remember, you are a property of the Holy Ghost. Satan, back off. In Jesus' name, amen.